Okay, so we're going to have a look at the fields um, of the two different stators. And they have our little core piece here and a bit of cork uh, in between, which is probably about three or four mil thick, um, indicating roughly our gap between our core segments on our rotor and our stator magnet array. So this is just the south switching straight over to north. We take our magnetic viewing paper and we sit it on there. So what you're actually looking at here, those yellow lines are the center of the two fields. So that's actually following the center of the magnets. And then we have a field either side, uh, same here. And this is our uh, center point between the two fields, as you can see. And what you can see is that line is going around our core piece, which means that there is a field either side of that core piece so one field is actually the core itself and the other field is the field emanating from that core uh, which is interacting with the field of the magnets so this is why you get a very strong pull towards the uh, center of our magnet array when we just do the changeover like that so what you're trying to achieve <clears throat> i prefer this colored paper is much better than the standard blue paper um, what we want to do is get rid of that yellow line that is around the core uh, which would indicate then that the core um, is not carrying two different magnetic fields so we need two different fields like the north and the south to get that so we know that the north is going in and the south is going into our core um, so that's why it's pulled to the center it wants to balance out between the two which is why you get the uh, very strong attraction force to the middle so what we want to do is make our magnet array so we don't get this yellow line around the core which indicates that the magnetic field um, is in the core itself from both north and south uh, so it's got a mix of the two, which is the strongest pulling force you can have is uh, bridging the gap between a north and a south field of a magnet or magnets. Um, so basically with this setup here, <clears throat> we're fighting the odds, we're battling the strongest um, attraction force of a bit of ferromagnetic material towards the two um, unlike poles bridging the gap so <clears throat> and it's a bit counterintuitive because you're wondering to yourself well why is that core piece sticking to the magnets it doesn't matter that it's sticking to the magnets what matters is that it's not bridging the two fields so if we put our paper on here now like so we can see we have no yellow line around the core we have three individual ones um, or three individual centers all meeting at this point here but cancelling out um, a what would you call it, a net magnetic field of the two uh, going into the core <coughs> so although the core is attracted to this magnetic array the core itself is carrying no field which means it can pass across that array because it's not trying to bridge north and south together so uh, that's what you're looking for no field around your core which allows the core to transverse from north to south field without any interference here we are bridging the core and it doesn't want to break that bridge um, so if this is a south field here this field around here is probably going to be the north opposites attract um, if this is the north field here 
this field around here is probably going to be the south. So we've basically made a magnet with the north on one side and the south on the other. And the south being attracted to this side, the north being attracted to that side with equal force and it doesn't want to move from that spot. So this one, no good because we've got our um, center line there, center of field line or field to line. And with this one here, we don't have that. It's gone because all the merging takes place right on the very face. So we're only trying to, that's why we can feel a slight, um, very slight cogging effect from one field to the other because it's only this very small portion of the core that is receiving the fields. Whereas this one here, <clears throat> as we can see, what have I done? I've moved that, bumped it a bit out of centre by the look. We have a very large portion of the core and uh, that half circle represents the full circle of the core um, and this represents the depth of penetration of the fields. So this is why we're getting a very big cogging effect with this one here because the core is being um, induced by the two different fields very heavily whereas on our modified one we can see the core is being induced very little from the two fields so that's what we need to find we don't want any of these lines around our core the bigger the lines I mean we can uh, <clears throat> take that spacer out and of course we will get that slightly more or slightly less <clears throat> now you can see the fields are just about going straight across um, unfortunately that's sitting on there and the force is very strong but to move it from side to side is absolutely nothing so immediately that tells me I can move my core in further and reduce the cogging instead of increasing it oddly enough so um, no doubt if we put a bigger gap in there which is probably not going to stick because the field starts to get weak but um, I'll just hold it there with my fingers so I've just added another little bit of thin card hmm this is trick like so you can see we've stretched these fingers out a little more so we've got a little bit more of the core grabbing so we now have a weaker field between here and here but more of it's being induced into the core so that would increase the cogging so yes counterintuitive but oddly enough them sitting on there like so and I reckon I can just about position that so it's nearly a full bridge I do have a bit probably a one mil gap there which is not helping the matter right there so that'll have zero cogging now sitting on the face um, we can see that the fields are bridged across which is um, the magnet sticking really good but it's only sticking to the face and the field is not penetrating into the core at all and it's um, we could probably actually have a look at this as I slide it across there you go so that's what's happening and I do have that center one a little low so I can see it's tipped yeah need to sort that out take another half a mil off the back of that but um, that's what we want to see we've got a bridge there now between north and south fields which is only just touching the core so that's what we want 
or we're trying to achieve um, what we don't want is this here like this and if I close the gap on that actually I wonder what will happen if I close the gap on that or research and development so I'll get that somewhere in the middle and I think and this is a um, there we go we still have our field around our core and a nice dark spot here now which means the field is starting to intens intensify the closer we get as we can feel anyway but um, <clears throat> what I can notice also especially with this one here I was looking at I have a dodgy magnet in here I think being this one here for some reason this one here is much stronger and that's why I can feel a cogging or a um, pull just off center because we have a much stronger field so they've probably chucked an N45 or something in with these N32s that are supposed to be N52s because yeah we have a stronger field there for some reason so we've got a stronger magnet interesting stuff anyway so that's what we want to find um, we want no yellow line around our core like we had our um, split core situation so if you haven't got yourself some get yourself some colored magnetic field viewing film and you'll be able to see this clear as day that's what we don't want and that's what the other one there has alleviated it's gone no line around our core so we're on a winner and when we put all this together in the coming days we can once again put our well, it's going to be a bit hard with the floor wheels on it. Have to make it all upside down. But anyway, um, we'll see if we can actually view the fields as we rotate and see what's going on. And from that, we might be able to alleviate any problems we come across in doing so. Thanks for watching, guys.